back in Carlisle, starting uh, the Cumbria Way, complete opposite to Hadrian's Wall, which was perfectly signed all the way along. Couldn't see a plaque to start the Cumbria Way, couldn't see a sign, I still haven't found a sign, I don't know if I'm on it, I'm following the map, I need to get the other side of the railway. Um, really poor start. Uh, I took a few photos in the town square, didn't film because there was a lot of people there. Just sort of walking around the edge of the cathedral now, trying to find anything that resembles a sign. Okay, as you can see, I'm by the castle. That there is the first Cumbria Way sign I have found. Let's get on it, half ten in the morning. This is day one, probably five of the Cumbria Way. Today is a 15 miler from Carlisle to Colbeck. Morning. It was only yesterday that I finished Hadrian's Wall Walk and now I'm starting the Cumbria Way and oh, it's a beautiful day, the sun is out. Um, I'm following the river uh, called you through the outskirts of Carlisle for quite a while and following that river through for a bit through villages and through the countryside. Um, often people say this is the most boring or the worst day of the uh, Cumbria Way. There's some uh, pretty hefty floodgates along the side of this river, so uh, I imagine it floods quite often. Heron, I think. Morning, low bridge. So, uh, anyone under 12 feet could take that side. If you're taller than 12 foot, I'd probably use uh, that side. Miles of clearance. What are they on about? I shall now use my Jedi mind powers to get all these lambs to move. Let's have a lamb stampede. Thank you. I finally kicked into gear and put some yellow arrows, some signs along the way at last. Lake District has just appeared in front of us. Here I go, it's about 10 in for the day, it's 
half two in the afternoon. So just steady pace really. A couple of gripes about the path. Signage is terrible. Um, when it's obvious that there's just one way to go, there'll be a sign. And when you're dumped with about three or four options, there'll be uh, no sign. So uh, you do need your navigation skills and your map on this one. Um, for those people that said, oh, it's a waste of time, uh, it's a miserable day, it's not. It's a really beautiful walk, actually. I've been following the river for most of it. The urban nature of it isn't much. Been through one village so far. Um, yeah, farmland, but rural England at its finest. A little bit overgrown. Bird Church, baby! This woodland stretch on the way to Colbeck is really beautiful. I've got the sunlight rippling through the trees. I've got the river to my left. I've got some slightly undulating terrain. Soft on the feet. Good going. Not long to the end of the day. Camp and hopefully pub. Shut up. Hey, your face. All set up at Colbeck campsite. Got a little bench. Got me solar charger going. Uh, nice little site. Um, further down, you can camp right by the beck. Toilets are up there. No showers, so time for a strip wash. Five pound a night. Walking back from the Odd Fellows Arms. Uh, good pub. Really recommend it. Uh, nice food, good beer, good service. Nice beer garden, everything you could want really. Um, and a good day's hiking. Really exceeded my expectations. Um, from everything I'd seen and heard, I wasn't expecting much from today, but it was a good day. Don't skip this section. I'm off to bed, and tomorrow we get into the Lake District. So it's going to get really good from tomorrow. Good night, folks. Thanks for watching. Sweet dreams. Looks rubbish. Too drunk to do this. Good night. <laughs>